Hello, our read aloud for today is The Mother's Day Mice, and it's by Eve Bunting, and it was illustrated by Jan Brett. Biggest little mouse wakened first. It was early in the morning and still almost dark. He gently tugged on the whiskers of middle mouse who slept next to him. It's Mother's Day, he whispered. Time to get up and go out for our presents. Middle Mouse tugged gently on the whiskers of Little Mouse, who slept between him and the wall. Mother's Day, he whispered. They crept out of bed and tiptoed past Mother's room. Outside, one star still slept in the sky. They stopped to wash paws and faces in the pail of water Mother kept by the front door. Biggest studied his watch. We have two hours before Mother wakes up. Middle and I know what we're getting for her and where to find it. He looked at Little Mouse and waited. I know what I'm getting too, Little Mouse said. Honeysuckle. Biggest shook his head. Little Mouse, Honeysuckle only grows on Honeysuckle Cottage, and we know who lives in Honeysuckle Cottage. You'll have to find something else for Mother. Little Mouse wanted to argue, but Biggest Mouse was already lining them up one behind the other. Hold tails and be quiet as we go, he said. The dark has dangers for Little Mouse. They ran across the meadow. Little Mouse liked the tough, smooth feel of Brother's tail. He thought the three of them, joined together, must be as long as a snake. He didn't want to think about snakes, though. The edges of the sky were streaked with morning. A red fox passed them on his way home. They crouched till the white tip of his tail disappeared in the trees. Grrr, said Little Mouse fiercely. Who's afraid of him? But his voice was so weak that he couldn't hear it himself. An owl shrewed above them as they lay hidden in the long grass. Little Mouse kept his eyes closed tight. If he couldn't see the owl, the owl couldn't see him. You didn't have to squeeze my tail so hard, Middle Mouse told him when they stood up. I thought you might be frightened, Little Mouse said. I was telling you I was here, Middle Mouse sniffed. A strawberry patch grew at the edge of the meadow. There's my surprise for Mother, Middle Mouse said. She loves strawberries. She says the first ones of summer coming. Biggest mouse boosted him up so he could get the roundest, reddest berry from the top. Its weight tipped him backward as he carried it. My surprise is here too, Biggest Mouse said. He picked a dandelion fluff ball and held it by its milky stem. It's a wish flower, a wish flower from mother. Little Mouse thought the fluff ball was as beautiful as spinning of spider webs. He could see the sky through it. Mother will love it, said Little Mouse. Now can we go for Honeysuckle? We have time, and maybe he won't be there. Biggest Mouse sighed. We'll go look, but only because you're the littlest, and it's Mother's Day, and we don't, and we won't go too close. Cat is always there. Cat was there. He lay on the porch of Honeysuckle Cottage, monstrously big and monstrously black. When he yawned, his mouth was dark and spiked like a cave. Little Mouse could see it clearly, even though they weren't too close. Maybe he'll leave soon, Little Mouse whispered. He pulled his eyes away from Cat to the honeysuckle that twined around the porch. Honeysuckle for Mother. Inside the cottage, someone was playing piano. The tune was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Dee dum, dee dum, dee dum da. Maybe Cat likes to lie in the sun and listen to music, Little Mouse whispered. Maybe the person will stop playing soon and Cat will go away. He sniffed the honeysuckle air and pretended not to see Biggest Mouse check the time. Dee dum, dum dee dum, dee dum. That person is not going to stop playing, Middle Mouse muttered. He set a strawberry on the ground and a beetle came on the run. Middle Mouse picked it up again and shooed the beetle away. Little Mouse began creeping toward the cottage on his belly. Biggest yanked him back by the tail. Stop that! Anyway, it's time to go. What if Mother's like wakes up on Mother's Day and all her little mice are missing or eaten, Middle added. 
We'll have to go, they said. I'm sorry, little mouse. But inside little mouse's head, something had started to beat. Something wonderful that was the beginning of an idea. Something better than honeysuckle. It's all right, little mouse said. The sun made a pat pink patch across the meadow as they ran home. Bring her a daisy, Biggest said over his shoulder. She'll like daisies. Bring her a rock, Middle puffed. A small rock that's not hard to carry. They're nice, Little Mouse said, but they're not special enough for this special day. He had something special though. He had it strong and firm in his mind and when they got home. Biggest stood the puffball in a jar beside Mother's chair. Middle put the strawberry on a blue dish on the table. I'm glad I didn't roll it, he said. Sometimes I wanted to, but I carried it all the way and it didn't even get squished. He glanced sideways at Little Mouse. The strawberry can be from you too, Little Mouse, and the fluff ball will be from both of us, Biggest said. Little Sm Miles smiled and said, thank you, but I thought of something of my own. He thought it was funny when his brothers looked all around and then rolled their eyes at each other. Something I kept hidden, he said. Biggest Mouse held up a warning paw. Shh, Mother's coming. Happy Mother's Day, they all shouted when she came in the kitchen. And Mother said, why, you remembered. Remembered? We almost got eaten. Three, Middle Mouse began, but Biggest Mouse poked, Biggest Mouse poked him hard. Sometimes Middle talked too much. Mother blew on the puffball and it exploded into a million beautiful feathery seeds. Did you make a wish, Biggest Mouse asked? Yes, a wonderful wish. Mother cut the strawberries into four pieces. I love strawberries, she said, the first ones of the summer coming. She nibbled on the edge of the berry and closed her eyes. Little Mouse knew she was tasting sunshine and sweet corn and the cold waters of Meadow Stream. Now me, he said. He was so excited, he thought he might explode like the puffball into a million pieces. The music he'd heard at Honeysuckle Cottage was loud in his mind, and he clasped his paws together and began to sing. He sang the words he thought of to say as they ran home. We have brought a song to say, Happy, happy Mother's Day. No one's mother is so nice. Love from all your little mice. That was wonderful, Mother said when he finished. How astonished his brothers were. They thought he had nothing, and all the time he had this. Was it better than honeysuckle, Little Mouse asked. Much better, said Mother. Honeysuckle doesn't last forever. A song does. Was it the best of all your surprises? As soon as he asked that, Little Mouse felt mean. The song's from all of us, he said. Mother smiled. All my surprises were lovely. You have each brought me something different, and you each brought me something the same. Do you know what that was, Little Mouse? Little Mouse knew. They brought her their love. Mother opened her arms wide, and they ran to her. Let's sing Little Mouse's song, she said. Mother and the three Little Mouse swayed together as they sang, and the kitchen was warm with wishes and summer coming and music and love. The end.